Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's fail race episode with Drifto on GTA 5, uh, managing to terrify the AI cars with flares. One of them up ahead gets so freaked out he rolls his car off a wall. As the brigade though plows through the intersection, cars get stuck underneath, manages to skid its way uphill on its side. Still going, still eventually runs out of momentum with a bit of a curb and a wall bump it back onto its wheels, but that's quite an impressive two-wheel moment. Although it is beaten as Rare Gliscor watches <laughs> his uh, incredible two-wheeled drift from the Rumpo Custom there. That is, drifting does not very often impress me, but that that is seriously, seriously well done. Uh, Stevie, we're back to the uh, Brigades, go for a bit of a race as the white truck tries to throw itself up the inside. Can't quite do it as uh, the player here will take victory. Third place decides to play a little bit of uh, Brigade Dominoes though. Well done, for managing to get two of them to roll over. They are proving to be not the most stable of vehicles. Gij has got the insurgent that is, without a doubt, one of the toughest vehicles in GTA 5. However, the police have got a cunning way of dealing with it. Get the uh, insurgent sort of on the back of the police car, escort it off a bridge. Although this time it can just about survive, that is a surprisingly efficient tactic from the uh, police. And they're also being surprisingly efficient with the uh, Hare 17 using a truck trying to outrun the uh, the cops. It goes across a lamppost to avoid a roadblock and that doesn't end too well for him. Uh, Andy Dawn is uh, racing through the hills. This is a very tough place to, uh, to go racing. Lots of hidden corners and bits that can get you into trouble, although this time it is uh, an invisible object that uh, would get his Sultan, I would say an invisible car, but it's not even the right shape for a car. I don't know what on earth it is that is causing problems here. For the Sultan, it's certainly not pushable, nor is it drive throughable as he has uh, <laughs> a couple of nudges with can't really do anything about it. The AI tornado goes around it and smacks himself into a wall. Buffalo coming from the other direction climbs over it and then falls off and is on its is on its roof. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but something there is not very happy. The, the Sultan goes back to have a look. The, the driver gets out of the car okay. The Mini kind of skirts around it and then gets confused by a wall as well. Obviously not a fun place to be. Mad Trucker 24 is uh, doing a bit of a stunt race around the airport. Completes the first part of the jump. Doesn't quite get the landing though, as his car is perfectly balanced on the railings. The character dancing around, yeah, you're not going to be going anywhere. Now, these sections are notoriously dangerous for motorbikes, and unfortunately on the landing, he does get catapulted off, but the bike, being a perfect weapon, launches a AI mode. You couldn't have timed that one better. You could not have timed that one better if you had tried. It was an impressive flight from the uh, the AI rider there. We're up next on to Watch Dogs with Twigatone trying to, and successfully, bullying a van off of the bridge. He jumps down to have a look, gets his car wedged inside of a van. Physics get very angry. Physics get very, very angry indeed. Amazingly, the car is still working after all of that. The van, I don't know if they're quite as healthy, but uh, there we go. Kill Hop on a Project Cars, racing an Audi R8 when the game has had enough of its shenanigans and decides the car should be in the wall. Another one, I don't know if um, they're, they're laying traps around these uh, circuits, but for whatever reason, the Audi was, uh, yeah, having none of that forward momentum. Uh, Zombie Cheese on Just Cause 3 takes down a really rather giant a cargo plane. As he goes to go and clear the debris, physics get very angry on the mech. The player was not too happy about being taken down. Well done for managing to roll a mech three or four times, I think, in all of that. Also, that was perilously close to ending up into the water. We're on to R Factor 2 with Jacob Games and the AI not quite knowing what to do with a safety car. That's definitely wrong. That's definitely not what you're supposed to do with a safety car out on track as it tumbles. That is an impressive roll. That's a really very, very impressive roll. Not to be outdone though, the next two try to copy it. Not quite as uh, spectacular, not quite as many rolls, but still they uh, have issues. The safety car then goes underneath what I believe is the player car there, stopped down there. Then we've got Chase Elliott. He's not to be outdone by the previous ones yet. He's going to go for a roll as well. Apparently there are some difficulties with following a safety car. 
But there we go. Uh, and finally, we are on to uh, R Factor, the original R Factor, with the classic DTM cars. Now, obviously, some combination of mods between tracks and cars and possibly car setups have got very unhappy with this race because, well, these vehicles are having issues staying on. <laughs> It is literally, if Fail Race designed a racing series, this is the sort of thing that it would be. As the Mercedes, oh, that's a massive save on the first part. Can't do it on the second part. That's gone spiralling off into the barriers. Car behind has gone tumbling. Alfa Romeo has made it around the corners relatively well. There are just cars upside down everywhere littering the track as this BMW bounces and wibbles its way across. Well, that car did not survive particularly long. There is just not a clean uh, functioning car anywhere. Off goes another BMW into the back. Purple BMW bouncing around. They're trying to get going again because they're, they're trying to put power down before they've sort of properly got the, the cars settled and then they're just sort of spinning wildly off into the scenery. Almost a big save from the green Mercedes. Not quite. Not quite in that case. And there's another one on the inside has gone tumbling and smacked itself into barriers. There's some retired cars, as you can imagine. Amazingly, these cars, some of them are still going after these utterly, utterly ridiculous actions. The Alfa Romeo is looking relatively healthy. We're going to have a synchronized <laughs> purple, the purple BMW just managing to help the white car to uh, go over there. There's various vehicles dotted around. I don't know what's going on at the hairpin. The Alfa Romeo has finally ended up on its roof. Uh, quite a lot uh, sort of further back in the track. BMW is uh, missing its boot, but still somehow working. Are we going to make it around this next corner without falling over? Amazingly, we are. One of the very few cars that did. But this next... No, no the next turn's not going to, not going to go <laughs> too well. These curbs and, and these cars are not well suited to one another. I will, I, I will say that much as the purple BMW is stricken down the road. Are we going to make it around the hairpin without falling? Oh no, of course we're not. Of course we're not. There are just cars rolling everywhere. You look around the shots. Just cars stuck upside down. And yeah. I, I, I don't know what on earth went on in that race. I approve massively of it. It is just ridiculous. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, probably not the greatest combination of mods for a, a sensible race. But for a fail race episode, absolutely spot on. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can submit them via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. The uh, Fail Race Clip Submission section is right at the very top of the page. All of the rules and how to submit them can be found in there. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.